JD Ezekiel Man. You know, he ain't no Jax Teller. And as far as I'm concerned, happy, as you said it best, he needs to die. Like a lot. Ezekiel disrespecting Al Pacino because he, I love Emilio. He stole the episode, no doubt, along with Nails, those two actresses, holy shit. Because, see, El Padrino learned the lessons from Jax Teller, from Clay, from Bloody 92, and all the history with the Sons of Anarchy. So we all know the fuck the happy, the fuck the Jax Teller lines that are coming from the mines are from Algin James. Keep his name out my mouth, you motherfuckers. You know, like, Jesus, Alvin James, stop with the disrespect. I want to love the Mayans, but you got to keep disrespecting the home team. Stop it. Seriously. I want to love Mayans for what it is. The acting is beautiful. Oh, it looks like um, Angel, man. Gilly's a little bit pissed because you know Coco's dead and Angel man what I want I don't know if he's gonna end up dead alive or what but they're going to Los Angeles to go to try to kill Packer and going to try to kill some sons of anarchy now when will Al Pedrino find out that it wasn't any of the minds who killed Montez When's he going to put it together that Taza and Bishop were the ones who were involved in that and it was actually Paolo that killed Montez? That is the moment that then the whole war is going to shift and Ezekiel, I just, I hope he dies. I just want that character to go away. He's very unlikable. He's a power-hungry asshole. These kids nowadays just disrespecting the legacy. Pissing all over Jack's teller. Pissing all over Happy. We earned our respect. Just like Al Pedrino. Leave us alone. 